Hey guys, how you doing? So today I'm gonna do, uh, I guess a double mod job. Uh, but, uh, I found these actually recently. Oh, I was so happy seeing these silver door protectors. Since my car is silver, I, I really didn't want to get the black ones. Uh, I felt like it just kind of stood out too much. Um, so yeah, I didn't really like that. To be honest, I think they should have color coded for all the cars. Um, but today I'm also going to go ahead and install a trunk light in my WRX trunk. Uh, this is the cool white. This is basically a 168 wedge bulb male pigtail. So basically you just plug this into the uh, light socket. Uh, the quality of the construction I think is pretty good. I have these, this is actually the same underglow I use in my WRX um, in the front lip. Uh, the jacket here is super thick. So we're in my garage. I'm, this is the last one. I already put in three of them. Um, it doesn't come like that. I folded it down. But basically uh, when you're installing it, uh, what I did was I just fold the bottom half down like this uh, and cut this part right here. And then I would use I would kind of just kind of use that to guide it. Uh, so for example, I would uh, basically just, just slip it under here and then kind of just guide to where it is and then lightly stick it at the top to where I want it to be. And then I would press it down. Um, just a couple of tips. Um, there's this top layer right here that you don't really need. I would take that off. And another thing I suggest is don't do the driver's side first. Uh, that's what I did. Um, I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah, you can see it. There's two bubbles right there that I ended up having. Um, and the main reason why it's like that is because the manual says to push up like this with your finger to, uh, to install it. Um, in reality, that's probably not a good idea. That's how bubbles form. Um, what I did was I just took my thumb and I just started from the very center and I pressed outward like that. And then I, I would move up like this. And then finally I would go to the top. And this one came out the way it's supposed to. Uh, no bubbles, perfectly placed and everything. Oh, one thing I did forget to mention was I did use a heat gun. Um, I didn't overuse it, just very, very lightly kind of uh, glaze the sticker area um, just to kind of heat up and get it a little bit sticky. Um, don't, I wouldn't overdo it uh, because this is all plastic so it would kind of possibly melt and deform. Also when I prepped the area, um, I did do a little bit of clay barring to uh, take out any type of, uh, I guess, mineral deposits from the paint area. And then I sprayed it down with a 25% uh, uh, isopropyl alcohol solution and uh, wiped it down with a microfiber cloth and uh, let it kind of sit for an hour to just completely dry. I ended up able to fix this. Um, I did kind of stretch it out a little bit maybe at the bottom. But the idea, so you do have a little bit of time if you do get a bubble. Um, if you're really quick about it, you can definitely take it out uh, very carefully, of course, and uh, reapply it. I'm going to start on the uh, truck light now. All right, well, we are in my trunk right now. Um, area. If you notice, the car is a little bit raised up. Uh, I am doing some work on the car, so I guess uh, be prepared for some more videos. All right, well, here it is installed. I just installed it to my uh, trunk stiffener guard bar. Um, so if you guys are looking for an excuse to get this um, very overpriced uh, piece of metal, uh, here it is. You can use it to uh, attach your LED light to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and plug it in, and then we'll do the uh, reveal together. It is reveal time. Hopefully I put it in correctly. And uh, let's go ahead and open the trunk. And here we go. And it didn't work. Ugh. Well, second time should be the charm. Make sure it works. All right, here we go. All right. Cool. Just some extra thoughts. Now that you have this extra cord, maybe you can attach this, the LED to something that can be removable so you can take it out every once in a while. Maybe you can go under your uh, car or, or whatnot, or just move it around. I think it was like maybe total cost was uh, just for one trunk. It came out to like 20, uh, maybe 30 bucks, um, but a big difference in my opinion. And uh, you know, power draw is probably pretty minimal. Uh, I basically just drilled a hole through the uh, LED cap and then uh, that way I can just um, see if I can uh, I can just kind of put it in there. That way it'll it'll always hold that uh, light bulb in there. I'm sorry, the uh, male pigtail. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Love the mod, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.